This is a short introduction to Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and how to make some simple queries. When you boot up the SQL Server Management Studio, you may have the option to choose from your computer name and SQL Express, or you can do as I do here, just put a dot and then backslash and SQL Express to find the local server. It resembles the local host when we are working on MySQL. So I connect here and then I create my database. And my database here is called Paul App. And I click OK. And then inside databases, and I have my Paul App. And inside the Paul App, I have the possibility to, to create a diagram uh, that resembles a entity relationship diagram. I can create tables, views, uh, and so on. I will just focus on tables right here, and then I will do some short, some simple SQL statements. So I'll create a new table, and this table will have this uh, answer ID, which will be integer, because I would like to use it as my index, so I will not allow any nulls. And I can uh, scroll down here to identity specification. And then here I can specify that this is my, uh, this is an ID. This is also incremental. That means it will increment with one each time I create a new row. And then I will create um, this answer. And I will use the n varchar. That means I can use um, any kind of characters I would like to use and I will not allow any nulls. So now I have a table and when I save my table I will call it answer. And I have now my table here dbo answer. So I can Look at the design. This is what I see here. I can select all the rows. There are. I can edit the rows. That means I get the possibility to edit my my data. And uh, when now I have my DBO dot answer, I can run a query on this DBO dot answer. So I go to new query, and here I would like to insert into DBO dot dbo dot answer and what I like to um, put into is I will only enter something into answer as we can see I could also choose the answer ID but I will not because this is auto incremental and then I will put in a PHP Perhaps I ask for what is your favorite language, and uh, this could be the uh, the answer. And as we can see, we get this error here that we don't have a column name called PHP. And this is because in MySQL, we can use double quotes and single quotes where we like. But in this case, we need to, when we are at the Microsoft platform, we need to use the single quote. So now we can check here if it's working here. We can check is this working? Yes. Uh, this looks fine and we can execute it and it says that one row was affected. And perhaps we would like to add one gold.net and perhaps one more set.net and there was a guy who said JavaScript. And our one who said Python. And somebody said Node.js many times. So let's have a look here what happened. From dbo.answer. As we can see, we have PHP and we have many node in here. So we would like to know um, 
what is the distribution of all these entries. And in order to do that, we can use the command count. So we are able to count the answer um, from DBO answer. So let's see what happens. We have 10 entries, but we would like to have the distribution of the entries. So we may do something like using group by answer. So when we, when we group these counts by answer, we may see that now we have a distribution, but we don't know what refers to what. So we can put out what was the answer here. So now we can see that .NET gets two votes and Node got five and so on. And so we can see here, we have no column name here. So in order to give it a column name so we can refer to it when we have to put it out to the front end or whatever it may be, we can say uh, count answers. So we execute it, we see now we have count answers here. And this was just a short demo of how to use um, the management studio. And it was also a short demo of how to make some simple queries uh, within the management studio.